Hi, it's Luan from Google Tech, and today I'm gonna show you how to do the custom support in Cura 5. Um, recently, I had to print a lot of this token uh, with a lot of detail and need a lot of support. But if I use the default support of Cura, what happened is that I gonna have a lot of printing time just for the support itself. For example, if you uh, click on generated support um, and you slide here. So you see the time is 2 hours 48 minutes and I don't want to print a lot support just like this because of the generate support. So um, what I can do is um, I want a custom support for this one. So instead of using the generator support of Cura, I can add a plugin. Uh, you can hear, you see, Cotton support cylinder. When you go to marketplace, you can just type for custom support here, and you will see it around a uh, kind of some of the top one. So this one, cylindric custom support. So that you're gonna get the uh, the added button right here. And when you click on the model and click on custom support, you have couple choices for the support like cylinder, tube, or cube itself. For example, with this model, I have couple pointed that I really want to support like the tail of the, the horse, the mouth, the legs of the soldier, and his weapon over here. So let's put it one by one and we see how much we can improve in terms of printing time and material. So um, first I'm gonna put one for the horse, you can just click it's gonna come like this okay of course we need um, to adjust the position so when you click on the uh, support column you can uh, move it and uh, yeah move it to the right point right here I want to move it because the we you want to put it right under the uh, the lower point of the of the horses so around here one then I will need one here for the weapon of the uh, soldier here because it's the lower point also for here one yeah you can always chain and scale it to fit your thing and then here for his shield shield you will need to use the custom support and then you can click two points and then we create a support that cover that two point like that one. Then of course I need some for the horse tail also. So I'm gonna put uh, one uh, here, right here. But of course this one I'm gonna put a little bit bigger because I want it to uh, cover the whole tail. Let's try with the cylinder also. And I'm gonna put at the lower point, which is this one. Okay, here. Right. Ah, also the bottom of the horse, you see here, this point, and kind of like that. Okay. Then, um, what you can do is, for example, with the scale. Oh, so what happened? Okay. I go with the scale because I want to change the size of this one. Okay, so it's two by two, but I want to be a bit longer and uh, what I should I can put it three by three. You can always uh, choose to scale them uniformly or not. Here you can actually move them to the proper position that cover well the tail. You need to cover the bottom part of this. So here I have two things. I have the legs that is the lower point and the saw also here. So I can make it even bigger. Go to scale. Can do is three and eight. Okay. It look better now. I can just need to move them around here, and then this to around here. 
so that is good then this side um, can adjust the scale a little bit uh, it could be 2 by 4 yeah 2 2 by 5 is uh, maybe 6 is good because it's not that big and then we can move here then this you have to make sure that it's aligned very well otherwise it's not gonna uh, support your photo your file properly so here is done yeah more or less like this um, this side I'm gonna move it inside a little bit so that it can, can support the feet over here also ok now let's slice it ah I forgot ok it 2 hours 52 minutes because you still have generate support you have to unclick it and support so now you uh, have 1 hour 50 minutes so you save 1 whole hour of printing this by doing the support yourself and let's look at the slicer you can see here uh, by layer okay I think I could move this one up to here where the the thing start like right here you see you, you will move this one over here for that and uh, and that's it maybe a little bit for the leg I can move this outside a little bit outside to support up to the handle here so yeah you can um, you can use this as a thing to move on so like this of course they're gonna tell you that it's not slicing yes but it's okay can move it up to here I think okay let's slice again okay so yes it's support better let's see uh, let's see from here go up 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 okay you see that um, the column here can be moved a little bit here also so I'm gonna move on to repair section I'm gonna move it a little bit this way actually slice now okay so have to slide okay so if you see in this way I was between the leg of the the horse, the horse, so I should move it a little bit this way. Okay. Yay! So now I'm gonna have it like this. Hmm. You see, on the point, there's no. Uh, point that's lying out this so good yes as you can see now is the model is printing with my uh, ender tree marks with all of the support that we design and here is the model at the end you can see all of the structures and this there. Okay, so I hope this tutorial helps you with your 3D printing. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channels and we'll see you in the next one. Happy making!